So today for day four, we are in the desert. Uh, we are going to build using some of the new 1.19 blocks, uh, specifically the mud and the uh, mangrove. So let's jump right into this. First thing we're going to do, we're going to come right over here. Uh, I put this here just because I have the opening shot. But this cactus right here is actually marking the spot of the first corner of our build. So from here, we're going to follow along with the mud bricks. One, two, three mangrove log one two three four five mangrove log one two three four five mangrove log and we're gonna come this way and go five two three four five mangrove log then we're gonna come this way five one two three four five and then we are going to put Another mangrove log. This right here, this is going to be the bedroom. Over here is going to be the stairs, so we can actually come back over here. So from this one along the front, we're going to go one, two, three, mangrove, one, two, three, mangrove. From here, we're going to put diagonally one, two, three, one, two, three diagonally, and then put mud brick on each side. This is going to be at the entrance to one side of our structure. Now on each side of these, one here, one here, and then skip one, two, three, one on each side again, and then another mangrove log and another mud brick. So it should look something like this. This is going to be our little corridor that separates our living area and our working area. So from this one, we're going to go diagonally. One, two, three. Then up this way, we're going to go five. One, two, three, four, five. Not there, five. Here we're going to put two diagonally. Go five again. One, two, three, four, five two diagonally and then here we're going to put one two three one there one two three four five one there then back this way one two three and we should have one two three diagonal just like that this is what our floor plan should look like now we're going to go one section at a time and build these out. We're gonna start with the bedroom, which is this section right over here. So first things first, coming across, we're going to put one block on each side, bust these three out, and put all the way across just like that with our mangroves. Then all of this we're going to take out and we're going to put in birch planks and there we have our floor now we're going to come back with our stripped mangrove and we are going to come up three more one two three add three on each side then on each side we're going to do the same thing we're going to go one two three so we're going every other one make a second layer like that and then one that comes all the way across and we're gonna do that on all three sides here so now we should have something looking like this now for our doorway we're going to come up one two three four and come all the way across on the top and just like that now we have our bedroom built the frame of it now we're gonna come over here to this side and we're gonna actually do our stairs. So again, we're gonna come in and all of this is going to be birch planks. Then right here in the middle of this, this is where our stairs are going to go. We're gonna come up, we're gonna bring a column up right here. One, two, three, four, five, I think five. So for our stairwell, we're going to come up we're gonna build our stairs starting with birch slabs. We're gonna put three like that with a plank in the middle. And then every time we go one step, we're gonna go one plank up. So for this one, you'll have to put one there 
and bust that one out, then come up. Then the same thing here, put one there, come up one. And then when we get to here, that's gonna be the level of our floor. So for the sides, we're gonna come up. One, two, three, four, five, six, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Same thing here and here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then this one as well. Two, three, four, five, six. Then we are going to come up all the way up. One, two, three, four. This one is going to come all the way across. And then just like that, this right here is going to be our window. We're going to use the new trap doors and then open them up so they set in like that. And you're going to do that on the other two sides here as well. So your three sides for your stairs on the outside should look something like this. Your window should be four tall and it should come up and using slabs come up one half step at a time all the way around. So for this wall, we're actually gonna do it basically the same thing that we did in the bedroom ones. So we're gonna go one on every other one, leave a space that's too tall, come all the way across, except for this one, we're actually going to go every other one right here as well. And we're going to put a trap door from the outside coming in. And then the same thing here, like we did with the other windows. Now we're gonna build our floor across right here. You can actually replace these with full planks if you want. And it's just gonna come all the way across filling in all of this area right here. So for these two, we're going to bring this one up so it is one above the floor and this one is going to come up two above the floor. And should look something like this. And actually, these should actually all be two taller also. I counted wrong on these. And this one will all come up one as well. Now for the roof on this and above that, this is gonna be like an open patio area, but the roof over here and the roof over here, we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're going to build a frame using birch fence gates all the way across. Fill it all in. We did something similar to this with our tree house. And then come all the way across just like so. And then the top of it, we're just going to cover with the brown carpet. You can use whatever color you wanted to. Uh, I like the brown because it complements the red and the tan and the brown. It's just the right color palette. Then along the sides here, we're going to just put trap doors and flip them up all the way along the sides here as well. So it'll look something like this. Then we're going to come over here and do the same thing above the bedroom. So the structure on this side looks just like this so far. We'll do a little fly around here. And, uh, oh, I forgot to put the windows in the bedroom. For those, we're actually going to come from the inside just like so, so that way they are set in this way. They'll actually be flush with the outside instead, like so. So next, let's come over here and tackle this side. Again, we're gonna replace the entire floor with our birch wood planks. So it will look just like this. So now that we have the floor all done, we're going to come right here, and actually this row right here is going to be the stripped mangrove as well. 
Now we're going to come up one, two, three, four, five on each one of these all the way around just like that and then we're going to do the same thing on these two walls like we did on the bedroom walls over here so we're going to go every other one every other one and then come straight across and the same thing on this side so over here on the side room uh, we do the same thing left two windows and then these two sides we're actually going to just leave one window and come right just like this again just too tall for the actual windows we're going to come from the outside so they will be set in like that and fill in all of those fill in all of the windows we just made and that's the side room over here on the bigger room we're gonna come from the inside so the extra space will be on the inside here just like so so it should look like this these should be sitting from the inside so they're flush on the outside these should be from the outside so they're flush on the inside now for the roof we're gonna do exactly the same thing as we did over there we're gonna fill in all of this with birch fence right here we're gonna put a beam across just like so so it'll be like that from the inside even with the birch fence and then we're gonna continue with the birch birch fence and fill in the rest of this entire big side right here so you should have something that looks something like this and actually these two right here we're going to knock those down one now we're going to cover everything with the brown carpet just like we did over there so I even covered this beam right here with the carpet just because that's a spawnable block and that is not so it keeps spawns from happening now on top of each one of these we're going to put a trap door again this is partially for decoration and partially for functionality because now this makes this a non spawnable block so you will not get mobs spawning on top of your roof and you can come over there and do the same thing with all those over there as well then across the top right here we're going to do the same thing that we did over here we're going to put the trap doors just for a little bit of decoration all the way around the outside and flip them all up and same thing we're going to continue all the way around so now we, all that we have left for the basics of our structure is just this little portico right here this little um like a breezeway or a little walkway that goes between the two so we're going to start by building up the doors that go on each side so first we're going to come up two, come straight across not there right there straight across here and then leave that open we're going to come back in a moment with that our door is going to go there on this side actually this is going to stay completely open and we're going to come in and replace the floor here with all of our birch planks again so for our little entryway here both sides are going to be the same so I'm gonna build one and then we'll just repeat it on the other side so first come up here add three two three one two three come straight across and then every other one is gonna be just like that then on these ones that are sticking up on both sides we're going to put a trap door and then other side same thing and I realized this shouldn't be trap doors here this should actually be bricks all the way across
So all four of those sides should be plain, not like this. They should look like this. So that way we can put our trap door there. Let me go fix that and come right back. All right, now we have the sides of the bedroom fixed and we're back to working on this. So right here, we're going to add a birch wood plank and two fence gates. And then right here in the middle, um, replace that for the birch wood planks also, and then put a trap door. The reason why we're putting a trap door is so that way if you want to, you can close it off. Now we're gonna build the same thing from that side over on this side. And your entryway should look something like this. So, so far we're making pretty good progress. We've got most of it done. It's time to start working on the inside. Oh, and this little spot right here, we're actually gonna come from this side and add trap doors like a railing. I also forgot to add right across here, you're going to add a beam there as well. All right, let's start with this door right here. So we're gonna add this door, nope, not there. We're gonna add it there. Mangrove stair, we're gonna come around to the side. Put it there, you want it so it turns, so it's got the little bit of detail. Same thing on this side. And then put a couple of railings just like so. Let's work on this opening right here. We're going to put a mangrove stair on each side. Mangrove trap door on each side and on the top. And there we have it. It's like a, a small circular opening for that one. So for under the stairs, I like to come up here and I like to fill that one in and just hide a barrel underneath right here. Make this one a full plank as well. So let's start with decorating here in the bedroom. So we are going to put our bed right here in the middle. Then on each side right here in the corner, barrels facing down. Oh, and one over here as well. You can put it facing whichever way you want. On each side of the bed, we're going to put a planter, I'm sorry, a flower pot with a cactus in it. Then over on this side, we're going to make a little desk area with a lectern and come this way, set of stairs. Then on each side of these, just the classic stair with the sign trick to make it look like a chair. Over here in the corner, we'll put a couple of bookshelves and then a lantern right here above the bed for some light. And that's it. You can add more if you want. You can add some paintings, add banners. If you want to add some stuff sitting on the shelves over here, make it your own. Do what you would like with it. Okay, let's move on. So over here in the hallway, we're going to put a lantern right here for some light. Put a barrel on each side of the doorway right here. Add a flower pot here and a flower pot there. Put a barrel right here in the middle as well. We're gonna make this one facing up. And we'll put a flower pot on that one also. And why not one right here? So we'll put a cactus in a couple of these Put an azalea bush and maybe a poppy. Then over here, we're gonna put another lantern under the stairs and another little flower pot right here like so. Just so we can access this, but it doesn't look like, it looks like it's just filling it in. But if you wanted to come back here and access this little hidden barrel, um, you could do that. So first we're gonna come over here to this side. This is actually going to be an enchanting setup. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So when you put your enchanting table right here in the middle, it should be fully enchanting all the way to level 30. I like my grindstone right here. Anvil over here. Right here in this corner, I'll put my crafting table. 
and and a chest. Now we'll add a little bit of lighting. Oh, I forgot. We're actually going to have some storage right up here. So there's going to be barrels. Nope, barrels all the way across, just like so. You could put trap doors across those if you wanted to. You could also cover these up with trap doors if you wanted to. I like the open look. I think it looks kind of airy the way it would if it was actually out in the desert. So I like to put a lantern hanging from the bottom of this one and the bottom of this one just so it's nice and light back in here. Then we're going to come over here and add our storage area. So for our storage area we're just going to add a couple of chests. Nothing too fancy just right here. Oops. Wow. And you can add another crafting table there if you want. Um, I just like having a crafting table by my storage area, even though there's a crafting table right there. Eh, can never have too many of those things, right? Then over on this wall, we're going to put a cauldron there. Smoker with a furnace on each side. Uh, if you wanted to, you could change this out and put a chimney up here if you want. Uh, you know, I... I don't think it always has to have a chimney. I think it looks good like this. Uh, like I said, this is something you can change up however you want. Um, put a couple lanterns over here. I like to put one in front of each one of the windows and then one over the door. And then also right here you want to be sure and put a lantern on each side right here for some lighting. And there we have it. There is our desert abode house. Um, Again, fairly simple, but it's got all the basics covered. All we have left to do is just landscape the outside. That's actually something that I find quite challenging to do in the desert. Um, the landscaping around it. Uh, when my desert builds, I usually leave them pretty plain. Um, or I make them super elaborate. No in between. This one, I'm going to leave just like it is. I'm just going to put a few cactuses around. Put a few dead bushes Maybe a small well right here in, the, in this side or in the other side. And that's it. And there we have it. Our desert build is done. I added just a couple of cactuses and a couple of dead bushes on each side over here. And then for the path, I kept it pretty formal. This is a fairly straight line. It has a lot of straight lines, so I kept the path nice and straight to accentuate it. For the path, I just used the packed mud brick, brown concrete, and spruce planks, but you could use whatever you want. I'll put a link up in the corner um, for a video I made that has a few different path ideas for you. And that's it. This one is done and in the books as well, and we will see you for the next one. Bye-bye.